Give it up for Wolf D. Wolf D to the stage. Oh, it's for Wolf D. Good morning. Good evening. How y'all doing? It's a lot of beautiful people in here tonight. A lot of ugly motherfuckers in here too, though. A lot of ugly people, all right? Let me tell y'all something, all right? Let me tell y'all a little bit about myself, all right? I finally realized that I was in special education when they held my high school graduation in the damn cafeteria. The motherfucking, the, uh, the, the cafeteria lady gave me my diploma. The, the principal didn't even come down there. He was like, fuck it, it's all good. I see these, these, these pictures online of, of kids, you know, having their first day of school pictures, and I'm just glad that, that, that technology wasn't around back then because my mom was real raw. She took my first day of school pictures while I was getting on the short bus. She's like, straighten up your helmet, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Make this gonna be good. I'm like, shit, it's a struggle. You know? um, I've been real broke lately. I've been real broke. I'm gonna tell you how broke I've been. I've been so broke, I had to delete my mobile banking app. It wasn't doing nothing but taking up data. I'm like, shit, my iCloud all filled up with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, I've been so broke that I had to walk around the mall trying to look for a survey. I'm like, shit, I got time you know, to take out a little survey today, goddamn. You ever walk through the mall, you ever walk through the, the food court at the mall, and a simple man knows your face so well, he tried to duck you? I'm like, man, get your ass up here. You know what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? Shit is a struggle, man. Um, growing up, we didn't have any cable, so I, I just watched Telemundo all the time, and, and, they, and that's where I learned Spanish from. So I'm going to give you a little bit, you know, a little bit of sample of my Spanish. Like, Damn, this brother falling. You know, he must be Cuban. He must be good at baseball or something. But I ain't. It's just some shit I made up. You know what I'm saying? It sounds good, though. You know. Um, working in corporate America is very tricky because, like, you know, if you like before 10 a.m., you didn't tell about 100 motherfuckers good morning. You really don't know if they deserve that good morning or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you caused a 10 car pile up on the way to work this morning, and here I am wishing you good morning. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day. But it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Another tricky thing about corporate America is that all these damn people with these clickety clack ass shoes. Like, I mean, that shit is loud. And like, I can tell who my boss coming through because like, she got the loudest one, you know, the loudest click, click clack. Um, my neighbor, she's this old white lady, and she's taking care of some of, like three young biracial children. And I just know in my heart that one of them bad motherfuckers gonna grow up and go to the league. I was like, I gave a football to another day. I was like, now I can see Dak Prescott in you, motherfucker. Don't don't put this down. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I won't, I won't, but I know he will. And uh, I got a real dysfunctional family. My family's crazy. Uh, my brother, he started doing tattoos. So I was like, all right, I'll give you a piece of my skin. I was like, I want some angel wings on my back. These motherfuckers came out looking like a damn PlayStation controller. Like, shit, it's a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and my family, my mother, my parents, they bailed me out of jail with the money they got for turning my black ass in. Shit, they don't pay them back. I'm like, I can't do that. And my grandmother, she's real senile. She seen my Fitbit the other day and thought it was some type of new age ankle monitor. Like, nah, it's used to track the steps. She's like, mm-hmm, and your location. I know all about it. I know all about it. Like, no, you don't, grandma. It's, all, it's, it's cool, though, man. We work, work, we work on that. Um, what else I got for y'all, man? Let me see. Uh, black people, they immediately get offended when they walk to a place and are not immediately greeted. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just, it, it's something, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know one thing else about them. They also, they love pink moisturizer. I don't know what it is about them. Black people, they love some pink moisturizer. Uh, and ladies, if we meet at the dollar store, please don't expect our first date to be somewhat fancy. Like, you know what my budget was like when we first met. All right? You know what I'm saying? I don't come with this. I want to go to Red Lots. Bitch, we going to go to the fucking subway. You know, take this foot long. You just fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, hey, look here, my name is Wolf D uh, on Instagram. It's uh, black underscore mayonnaise. Thank y'all very much. Woo! All right, give it up one more time for Wolf D.